Hi, I'm Susan Taylor with Scripps Health in San Diego, California. Okay, let's talk about your liver. It is one of the largest organs in your body and it performs a lot of vital functions. Keeping it in good condition is critical to your health. Joining us to talk about your liver is Dr. Julio Gutierrez. He is a hepatologist, a liver transplant specialist with Scripps Clinic in La Jolla, California. He also has offices in San Diego and Chula Vista, California. Thanks so much for being with us, doctor. Thank you, Susan. Uh, let's start with the basics. What does the liver do? So here's, here's what the liver looks like, right? I think most people understand that the liver is a vital organ in our body. Um, and, but what it does is somewhat mysterious. Surprisingly, one of the most uh, important functions of the liver is delivering nutrition to the body. So the liver helps not only absorb the nutrition, but store it in the body. It's also critically important for producing proteins that are essential to body function. And you can see when patients develop liver disease, the absence of these proteins cause severe muscle loss and weight loss. So on top of that, the liver is also very important for immune function and it allows the body to fight off infections. And you can see in this picture of the liver, they'll bring a little bit closer, there's a nice smooth edge to it, and that's a healthy liver. But the liver can also fill with fat, and that's one of our main medical conditions that we worry about right now in patients with liver disease. Finally, in final stages of liver disease, you can see the liver changes in shape, and actually that's a sign of cirrhosis. So what, what is fatty liver disease? Fatty liver is the liver manifestation of being overweight. And usually when patients gain about 20 extra pounds, they start to store more fat in their liver than is normal. This can cause a condition called fatty liver disease. And fatty liver disease in some individuals can eventually lead to permanent scarring of the liver, which eventually can cause stage four scarring, which we call cirrhosis. It causes a change in the liver function. And that function, um, one of the first signs of it can be changing of the eye colors or jaundice. And many patients will present with that as their sort of first or sentinel symptom of liver disease. And it's, it's really important for the general public to understand that. But on the other hand, many signs of liver disease are hidden. And most patients who have liver disease will have no signs or symptoms of it which is why it's really important to get checked out with your primary care doc. And you can ask them to run a simple, comprehensive metabolic panel on you. And that will include not only the liver enzymes, but also the liver function tests. And that can give your doctor an idea of whether you need to see a liver specialist. So, so what is hepatitis and what is hepatitis in the liver? So there's the ABCs of hepatitis, right? Because I think almost everybody's heard of hepatitis A, right? So hepatitis A is an entirely preventable condition with a vaccine. Um, unfortunately, there's still many people in the United States who have not been vaccinated to hepatitis A. So we do see occasional outbreaks, which are primarily driven by um, food and oral fecal contact. So um, of course, uh, it's great to get the vaccine, but if, if a person does not get the vaccine and, and gets infected with hepatitis A, there's about five to 10% chance of death. So it's a serious condition. Very exciting that hepatitis B and C are either controllable or curable conditions. Hepatitis B, if identified early, um, we can treat patients with simple pills that they have to take for life to control the virus. And hepatitis C is entirely curable now with all oral medications the last eight to 12 weeks. And after that, patients can be monitored for future infections but are essentially cured of the virus for life. So what causes liver damage? The cause of liver damage is the chronic inflammation that occurs from these different types of liver disease. For example, the hepatitis C, the chronic replication of the virus causes damage to the liver cells. And fatty liver, the abundance of fat in the liver causes inflammation and damage. And the liver is very good organ in that it is able to recruit stem cells to replace damaged cells. 
And this process occurs throughout our life as the liver is repairing itself. But eventually those stem cells run dry and there's few liver cells to replace the damaged ones. And instead, scar tissue starts to form. And that is the framework of liver disease and cirrhosis is the scar tissue and replacement of normal liver function with scar. Um, and eventually this is the final manifestation of cirrhosis. When you talk about liver disease, is there a way to prevent it? Well, some liver diseases are preventable and some are not. For example, fatty liver disease can be preventable. And I mentioned, you know, patients tend to develop it when they gain about 20 extra pounds. Well, losing those 20 pounds obviously can improve your liver health also. Everybody who's tried to diet understands the difficulties and challenge with weight loss. So sometimes it's not feasible. Um, so because of that, we're developing new medications that can help patients with fatty liver. Um, another big medical problem in our country right now is use of alcohol. In fact, it's one of the leading preventable causes of death and actually the leading cause of cirrhosis. So if patients can reduce or eliminate alcohol, um, that can also improve their liver health. We see a very severe form of alcohol liver damage called alcoholic hepatitis. And in this syndrome, patients' livers swell with fat and their eyes turn yellow. It tends to happen in young people, 30 to 50 years old, and it can be life-threatening. 30 to 80% of patients who develop severe acute alcoholic hepatitis can die. And actually, we're building a program here at Scripps that allows patients to receive not only the alcohol rehabilitation needed to stay away from alcohol, but potentially even a life-saving liver transplant should they need it. So what about symptoms? How do you know that something is actually wrong with your liver? Probably the most common symptom I see in my patients is pain in the right upper quadrant. That's just the lower part of your chest and in the right side. And patients may feel like a dull, nagging pain there, that's frequently the most common symptom I hear in my patients. The next concerning symptom I mentioned already is changing of the color of the eyes to yellow and or the skin. And finally, after that, some other very concerning symptoms is vomiting blood or even swelling of the abdomen with fluid called ascites. Any of those happening are signs of end-stage liver disease and not just a small liver problem. Any final thoughts, doctor? So I hope that patients who are out there who are looking for education about their liver come see us because we can really help you learn more about your liver and how to best take care of your liver or even resolve complex medical conditions. Dr. Gutierrez, thanks so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you, Susan, for having me. Sure. If you want more information on uh, liver issues, just click on the link or go to scripts.org forward slash videos. Want more critical information about your health? Uh, please subscribe to our Scripps Health YouTube channel and follow us on social media at Scripps Health. I'm Susan Taylor. Thanks for joining us.